Welcome back. Today we're going to teach you how to paint gum trees. This is Acrylic Arts Academy. We teach the world to paint. Let's begin by creating the tree trunk. Begin by painting one wiggly crooked line upward using light brown and a small round brush. As you paint upward, veer off to the left of your canvas. Let's add some branches to this trunk. Begin by continuing the middle of the trunk upward in a different direction. As you reach the ends, make it wiggly and use a light touch. Continue to add branches like this in varying directions. Switch to a very small round brush or a detailer brush. Begin adding even smaller twigs off of the branches you've created. Some can be darker brown if you like. Paint them wiggly like the branches we just painted but smaller. Add as many small branches as you like. They can be coming off of any of these big branches that we created. The only limit is your imagination, so create branches and little twigs wherever you like. Use dark brown and a small brush to add shadow to a few spots. Decide where the light is coming from and create a shadow on the other side or the underside of the branches. Let's add details to the trunk. You'll need a small round brush and dark tan to do this. To mix this color, use plenty of white, a dot of brown, and a very small amount of yellow ochre. Mix it together well. We're looking for this type of color, either a dark tan or a very light brown. Apply this color to fortify where it may be thin, where the paint was breaking up or it's just looking a little see-through. Skip any spots where you painted dark brown as a shadow. We'll fortify those in just a moment. Switch to a very small detailer brush and use the same color. Use this tiny brush to embolden the small branches. The paint might have been breaking up at the ends there where you're using a light touch, so just go over that as you see fit. Use the same brush and dark brown paint to fortify the shadows in the same way. It's time to let your painting dry before moving on. Here's how to add the leaves. You'll need leaf green paint and a medium filbert brush. Make sure the brush is loaded up with leaf green paint. Hold the paintbrush at a slight angle. Use a tapping motion to lightly place color at the tips of the branches. Now you'll need a smaller filbert brush and very dark green, which is made by mixing two parts green with one part brown. Use the previous method with a smaller filbert brush in this darker color. Add dark green under each leaf cluster. Optional, make more tiny branches in any empty spots that you like. To do this, use the trunk color and a small round brush or detailer. These will be wiggly, small branches to fill in the negative space, and that's only if you dislike how open it is. If you don't mind the negative space in between the larger branches, then totally skip this step. Let's use an even smaller filbert brush in light leaf green. Tap this highlight color onto the outer tips of each leaf cluster. Don't panic if this blends in with the previous color, that's okay. Let this layer dry just a bit before moving on. Now that it's dried a little bit, lightly add one more layer of highlight to the tips. Use a clean, small brush to add some deep green to the small inner branches. If you didn't create these branches, don't worry about it. Layer deep green to the underside of the leaves if needed. If it looks dark enough, you can leave it alone. Nice work, you completed our gum tree painting tutorial. If you found this video helpful today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for even more acrylic painting videos just like this.